There was one interesting article mentioning that 54,000 is the max pain point for the upcoming options expiry date for crypto. Many margin calls take place and many people lost a lot of money. Hello niece and nephew, this is Uncle Robert. I hope this is going to be useful to you. Please remember to like and subscribe for more videos like this. You might be asking why is Bitcoin going nowhere when Ethereum is soaring sky high? This really doesn't make sense when there are so many large institutions adopting Bitcoin and their ETFs and mutual funds being set up. We would expect that with broad based adoption, Bitcoin price will keep soaring. Why has it been sleeping? Let me try to answer this question. With many whales and sharks in the fray right now, it is no longer a supply and demand equation. There were many who made a lot of money from Bitcoin through leverage. So what these sharks and whales want to do is to shake all these people out and accumulate Bitcoin at a lower price before allowing it to run. When will it run? I think we're going to see some movement after options expiry tonight, 4 a.m. Eastern Standard Time in America. See what happened here. There were many people who are highly leveraged on Bitcoin, expecting price to go up to the moon. However, with the large leverage, just a small price drop will cause margin call and you are forced to sell your Bitcoin at a lower price. And with several of these price dumps, many margin calls take place and many people lost a lot of money. Some went to zero. This chart clearly shows how the long leverage has been squeezed. This is just like GameStop but just in the opposite direction. So why hasn't Bitcoin moved at all? So with the sharks and whales accumulating a lot of Bitcoin, grabbing Bitcoin at $47,000, why isn't Bitcoin soaring yet? Let's compare Bitcoin with all the altcoins on CoinMarketCap. Looking at the last 7 days trend, Bitcoin is kind of stagnant while most of the altcoins are soaring. Look at Ethereum, look at Cardano, Litecoin, Bitcoin Cash, Chainlink, VeChain, Stellar, Tron, PancakeSwap, even smaller cap coins, they've all been soaring. What happened to Bitcoin? Even CNBC is talking about how Ethereum is stealing Bitcoin's limelight, rising to all-time highs. There was one interesting article mentioning that 54,000 is the max pain point for the upcoming options expiry date for crypto. And that is tonight, 4 a.m. What is this pain point? Well, if you look at these charts, light green is long options and blue is put options. There's over $4 billion of Bitcoin options in place. If Bitcoin soars or crashes, some of these people are going to get very rich. We can clearly see that the price is fixed at 54000 to cause maximum pain. So I think the whale and sharks really want to get into Bitcoin game. But in the process, they do not want to benefit us retail traders or the smaller shark. So where's Bitcoin going from here? Looking at March expiry, both Bitcoin and Ethereum skyrocketed right after expiry date. I hope we're going to see the same thing tonight with all the options expired and many people losing their monies and with many people learning their lesson not to put leverage to avoid getting crushed and going bankrupt. As long as we don't see this greed coming back into the market, we can expect the whales and sharks to continue to push Bitcoin up to where it belongs. 80k, 100k, 120k and eventually 500k. So what does it mean for us retail traders? First, do not be greedy. Second, hodl. Third, dollar cost average at every dip. Let's get rich together. Good luck. Disclaimer, this is not investment advice. This is just Uncle Robert's own opinion. Please make your own assessment before investing. Thank you so much for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe for more videos like this. Until next time, bye-bye.